So you want to smash like this. Then watch to the end of this video as I show you the five drills to perfect your smash. The first drill is our shuttle throw and that's gonna teach us how to do a proper swing in our smash. In order to do a proper throw, we want to divide our throw into three parts. One, our setup. Two, our pronation forward. And three, our release. This is the exact motion of our smash as we set up, pronate forward, and release with power. When we're doing this drill, not only do we want to do our swing, but at the very end, we want to flick with our wrist and fingers so that the bird can go as far as possible. If we don't do this and release too early or release too late, then our shot will not go as far and that's a common mistake people do when doing their smashes. And as you get more comfortable, you can start adding one step in with your left foot if you're right-handed. That drives your whole momentum forward into the swing. Our second drill is going to be the wall swing and that's gonna be swinging our racket against the wall which will teach us alignment in our swing for our smash. The wall swing drill is important because if we want to generate maximum power in our smash, we have to make sure our contact point is straight. One mistake beginners often make is they often smash with their arm in a bent position, leading to loss of power and also leading to elbow injury. Our third drill is a contact point drill and this is going to teach you how to get the most ideal contact point in a smash. When we're doing this drill, the bird is going to be coming over and we want to be positioning ourselves so that the bird lands straight onto our left foot and that's going to be the ideal point for contact when we're doing our smash. Our first drill is going to be our power generation drill and this is going to teach us how to effectively use our forearm, wrist and fingers to generate power. For this drill, we want to keep our arm as straight as possible and using only our forearm, wrist and our fingers to generate power for that smash. Our last drill is to use our breath to generate power. You may sometimes see professional players yelling while they smash, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. So when we're smashing, we're going to be exhaling on our swing and power generation just like this. Or on your smash, you can say it out loud. And those are the five essential drills to perfecting your smash. If you want to see more videos like this, then make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.